Truth be told, I did not bring a tripod to Hong Kong, so you are all currently sitting on a stack of my textbooks and my brother's Xbox games. Oh wait, no, it's PS4. That's how much I know about games. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. This is like take 60, but we're gonna see how this works. Okay, hi guys, it's Selena and welcome back to the Rad Bout University YouTube channel. Um, I'm coming to you from Hong Kong because I'm visiting my family right now for the Christmas holidays, so that's why the backdrop may be a little bit different from what you're used to. Um, first of all, Happy New Year. New Year means new intakes. If you're an exchange student, by the way, there are two intakes, so lucky for you. We're going to be talking about orientation, which is probably one of the biggest parts of the intake process. Um, orientation for me was great. I found it such a fun experience. It was the best way to break the ice between me and my future classmates. Um, me and my friends still make a lot of jokes that we came up with during the orientation week and we're constantly referencing things that happened. So. It has been very memorable in that sense. Um, because I've gone through it, I thought today would be a great time to just sit down and kind of talk about things that I've discovered during the orientation week, give you some tips that could help you. Because orientation week is different to each school, um, especially to rub out. I think there are a few things that you may not think about when you think about orientation in general. So yeah, let's just hop right into it. So the first and probably most typical Dutch advice I could give you is to make sure you have a bike first. Um, I had a bike in the middle of the week because at first I didn't realize I would need it and you don't necessarily have to. You could totally get by just from the bus or from walking if you don't live that far away from the university. Um, but I would definitely suggest having a bike beforehand. You know, you want to come in maybe a few days before. You can go online, you can check in Facebook groups to see where other students have bought their bikes. There are a bunch of places in Nijmegen where you can get your own bike. Um, it's just way easier. That's how most students get around throughout the rest of the school year anyway. And orientation is a super fun and activity-packed um, experience so you will go to a bunch of different locations for me for example I went to the museum in Nijmegen and you know you may go to certain restaurants where you want to eat or even just going to the university itself it is super convenient for you to have your own bike um, of course you may want to learn your routes a little bit Google Maps will help you with that or you could even just you know ask one of your new friends at orientation to cycle together to school or to a new location because that's going to be very very convenient also during orientation week you get mentors who will help you around for me i got split into groups and each group had a few um, older students second year or third year students who guided us and would show us around and told us about all the activities and things like that and a lot of the times when we would go to a new location they would cycle together with all of the students so don't worry about getting lost and the whole directional aspect because I was horrible at it but I did make it I went to all the paces because I had a lot of guidance another tip I have for you that you may want to keep in mind before during and maybe even after orientation is to make sure that you regularly check the Red Bout University website and also certain Facebook groups I can leave them in the down bar below if you'd like to check them out and um, join one because they will put up information about what you may need to sign up for, what you may need to pay for. Orientation does cost money, so all those, all the practical information will be available on these links. Another tip I have for you is to make sure that you know your own body schedule. You know when you want to go to bed, when you like to wake up, all those really important things basically because during orientation you have a crazy tight schedule a lot of the times you have to wake up really early and well not super duper early but like school early you know what I mean and if you've come back from the Christmas or summer break you're usually not really up to speed in terms of waking up in the morning so make sure that you're kind of used to that and if you don't live in the Netherlands make sure that you come 
quite a bit before the orientation because you want to make sure you're not jet lagged for all of these activities and that also means that you may want to ration the partying for me at least i knew that i don't like staying up late, that would just mean that I would be super grouchy and super tired the next day. So even though there were a lot of really, really seemingly fun parties at night, I didn't really go to any of them. Another tip I have for you is to sign up for everything. During orientation, um, I had a fair where all of the student associations, communities, and extracurricular activities had little booths in this giant forest on campus. And we had a lot of time to just look around and kind of browse all the things that you may be interested in. There are a ton of sports groups, a lot of student associations. I think there are sororities and fraternities that you may like to join. Um, I know that there are a lot of art stuff too. So if you're into theater or things like that, there are a bunch of um, groups that you could join. Um, I find this super fun and you know, all you have to do is really just put your email, sometimes your phone number in there and then you can check out a meeting or a session to see if you would actually like to join it and it's really no stress, you know, there's no harm in signing up for a lot of things, you'll just get a lot of emails that you may want to delete. Um, and yeah, it's a great way to introduce yourself to new friends because it's great to make friends with your future you know, fellow classmates, but it's also really great to meet people outside of your major, for example. So don't be afraid to sign up for things, even if you're just doubting it, you can always back out later. Speaking of sports, make sure you have a set of sports clothes that you can be mobile and agile in because we do have a sports day during the week of orientation and I personally love it. I thought it was really fun even though I didn't do a lot of activities. Um, it's great fun to be in a new setting with people that you don't really know, especially when you're forced into a sports team, you kind of have to strategize and work together. So it's a great team building activity. And um, also make sure that you have a water bottle just because you want to be hydrated, but also a reusable one is good for the environment. I mentioned earlier that the orientation week does cost money. Um, so one of the things you want to make sure you know is how much or how many meals are going to be covered within that budget and which ones aren't. So a lot of the places where you can hit up for food um, is Spar, which is our on-campus sort of mini market. also have great cafeterias on campus. Um, on my side of the campus, it's called The Refter and that's where I usually go even until now for breakfast, lunch, and sometimes even dinner. So make sure that you know which ones or where the cafeteria is on wherever side of the campus you're gonna be at. Lastly, I would suggest to just be open and have a lot of fun. It is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be something you, you stress out about. Um, but also, you know, you have all your new friends around you and you are also going to be around these students who have done the major or the study that you're going to take. So, you know, just be sociable and I would definitely suggest asking them questions if you have any, they would be happy to help you. Um, for me, for example, I know I was kind of worried about textbooks and luckily if you take the arts and culture major, there is a student association called CNUS and they arranged the textbook buying process so they had all the information for that. So if you have any personal information, don't hesitate to ask these people. Like They're here to help you and they're here to make sure that you have a great time. So. I would definitely take advantage of that and I wish you a bunch of luck and a bunch of success and fun times and great experience that you can look back at even two years down the line with your fellow classmates because it is going to be a memorable experience, memorable experience and I can promise you that. So to close this vlog, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. If you are a prospective student, I hope you have a great time here and I wish you all the best with your studies because orientation and the rest of your university experience will be very very great and very memorable and enjoyable so yeah I hope you enjoyed this vlog bye